In our Redmi K30 Ultra unboxing video, we asked you guys if you wanted to see a speed test. Well, a lot of you answered yes, so here we are. The MediaTek Diamond City 1000 Plus going up against the Snapdragon 865. So why the MediaNT? Well, we'll explain that and a lot more past the intro. So the reason behind going with the Mi 10 d Pro here is that we wanted both devices to be running on the same software skin. Basically that meant finding a phone with MIUI 12 on it and well the Mi 10 d Pro seemed like a perfect fit. The rest well it's gonna be like any other C48 x speed test. That means we are gonna have two rounds. The first one we are gonna go a little easy. So that means light social media apps, casual games, that sort of stuff. The second round, we are introducing some heavier games and even a video to render. Now, as for the rounds itself, they're divided into two laps. The first lap is all about the app timings. The second one is about RAM management. By the way, I'm Amorto and if you have been liking this video thus far, then please consider subscribing to C4E Tech and also hitting that bell icon so that you get to be a part of our notification squad. Now that we have our two contenders side by side, let's play a little guessing game. Which one do you think will win? Who's the fastest? Snapdragon or MediaTek? Well, let me know what you think in the comments below by dropping a hashtag MediaTek or a hashtag Snapdragon. And we're gonna start the speed test now, but before we do that, there are a few more things to tweak so that we can ensure a level playing field. First, both devices are running at the base 60Hz. That's because the K30 Ultra can only go up to 120Hz, while the Mi 10T Pro can push up to 144Hz. With that done, we make sure they're connected to the same wireless network, make sure there's no app in the background, and then I can go ahead and start the stopwatch. Kicking things off with Super Mario Run, And surprise, surprise, it's the K30 Ultra that takes the early lead. How many of you were expecting that? I certainly wasn't. Anyway, both phones are on the second row of apps now and the K30 Ultra is still maintaining its slim lead. The Mi 10 Pro is close on its heels though. Can it catch up? Seems unlikely as we are heading down the last row of apps. The K30 Ultra takes the first lap by the slimmest of margins, finishing a fraction of a second before the Mi 10T Pro. The race is on though and both phones are running through the memory management lap. And the Redmi K30 Ultra actually wins the first round with a time of 1 minute. The Mi 10T Pro is just 1 second behind. Okay, so the first round was neck and neck, which makes me even more excited for what's about to come next. As promised, for the second round, we have heavier games as well as a video to render. For today's clip, we are using the KineMaster app, taking a 4K clip, slowing it down to 25% and keeping it ready to render. Let's now start that stopwatch. Our first game, it's a real biggie. We have Call of Duty Mobile. This is one of the heaviest games on Android and it takes quite a while to load. Looks like the K30 Ultra has completed it though. And once again, it's beaten the Mi 10 Pro and snatched away an early advantage. In fact, this time it seems like a solid one app lead for the K30 Ultra. By the time the Mi 10 Pro is loading up Temple Run 2, the K30 Ultra is almost done with the second row of apps. and it jumps into the render first. Wow, the Diamond City 1000 Plus is absolutely chewing through that render. By the time the Mi 10 Pro joins in, the K30 Ultra is almost done. The Snapdragon 865 though does an amazing job, but it's too late as the K30 Ultra is already down the last row of apps and it wins one more lap, finishing with a time of a minute and 22 seconds. The Mi 10 Pro is just three seconds behind. Can the K30 Ultra complete a clean sweep? 
all that stands between the Redmi and the finishing line is two rows of apps. But disaster strikes as the K30 Ultra begins reloading apps from Feedly and the Mi 10D Pro takes advantage of that slip up. Races ahead as the K30 Ultra is stuck reloading Call of Duty Mobile and finishes the round in a minute and 50 seconds. The K30 Ultra finally finishes reloading Call of Duty and ends the second round at 2 minutes and 19 seconds. So what's the takeaway here? Well, as we mentioned in our unboxing, the MediaTek Diamond City 1000 Plus is just as fast as the Snapdragon 865 when it comes to day-to-day -day tasks. So things like opening up apps, scrolling through menus and as such. In fact, when it came to the first two laps, it managed to beat out the Snapdragon 865 toting Mi 10T Pro. But where it faltered is with RAM management. So Redmi still has some optimizations left to do here. So coming back to our original question, is the MediaTek Diamond City 1000 Plus fast enough? Yes, hell yes. In fact, it's a performance champion that caught me off guard cause I thought that this was an easy win for the Snapdragon 865. But what about you guys? How did your guesses turn out? Also, what do you think of this new MediaTek chipset? Let me know in the comments below. And with that, we come to the end of this video. As always, like, share, subscribe, and oh, turn on notifications by hitting that bell icon if you haven't yet. Thanks a lot for watching till the end, guys. Have a great one. Cheers.